right, so since I really like Beyblade, uh, I kind of fell into a binging session. I fell into a binge session. I finished like two or three seasons of Beyblade in one month because I just couldn't get enough. I have slowed down, mostly because I don't have as much time, but I just wanted to go on here and share how many seasons I finished and what I thought about them. Alright, so first we have the original three, uh, the first generation. We have Beyblade, Beyblade V-Force, and Beyblade G-Revolution. I accidentally put them out of order, but anyway. Uh, Beyblade V-Force, I finished that. It's the second one. It was, it was kind of a, how do I explain this? It was a bit of a fever dream. The plot was just a bit strange, especially with the robot. I should have expected it. I kind of did, but, um. The robot was still out of nowhere. Still not over that because they cut out a lot of characters that showed up in the first season. And I was confused because if this is the world championship, where are all the people you fought against in the first season? Uh, but I really like all of their character redesigns, except for Max. Max's looks a bit weird. Alright, the first season has a lot of problems, but that's to be expected. It's the first season. Like, Kai had a gang of stealing bays and that was just never brought up again like what happened to all those bays they stole did he go on a giant quest to give them back or did they just kind of rust in some corner uh i'm it was a bit racist and stereotypical like i'm not gonna sugarcoat it it was a bit racist um and i also it yeah it was racist and um the knee socks oh gosh i the knee socks still haunt me. When you look up Beyblade uh, on Google or on Microsoft, it's just, you. it hides the knee socks because they know how hideous they were. And then we have the third season of the original generation, which was probably the best, which again, makes sense. They had two tries. Of course, the third one is gonna be better. Third time's the charm. Uh, Kind of annoyed with the new redhead guy, but you, he kind of grows on you. The designs were a lot better, a lot less racist, still a bit questionable with the stereotypes that sometimes come up, but a lot less, much better. The plot was a lot more invigorating and a lot more tense. The stakes were raised much better in this third season. And then we have the second generation. Of course, this one is in the wrong order, too obviously. Alright, so the second generation of Beyblade, of course, the Metal Saga. So, uh, that check is on the wrong one. That's supposed to go on the Metal Fusion. I finished Metal Fusion. I'm working on Metal Masters. I have, I think, eight or nine episodes left. I haven't been watching any because I've just been so busy. But Metal Fusion... I don't know if it's just nostalgia, the fact that I watched it on Cartoon Network when I was a kid, or... It genuinely feels like the best season of Beyblade ever. I just... The diversity, the characterization, the relationships... I just feel like it's a lot better than anything we have now. And then there's Shogun Steel, which is technically part of the Metal Saga, but nobody really compares the two, and it's kind of on its own. I feel like it was a failed season. Like, they started it, realized nobody liked it, and gave up. Uh, I haven't watched it yet, because I still gotta finish the Metal Saga before I get onto this one. So for now, I have no opinion on it. And of course, here we are with the Burst uh, Generation. Yes, Burst Generation. So of course, I finished the original season. Uh, very, very happy with it. It was cute. It was a great starter. Not the best, but again, it's a starter. It's getting you into this new generation. Second one, probably one of my favorites just because of the opening song and Free de la Hoya, Free of the Pot. It's just, the stakes were raised, I guess. Yeah, that's about all I really got to say. And then we got Turbo, which is the season where they start to, t how do I explain this? The creators of Beyblade Burst started testing the waters of some different themes and ideas, which I think worked out pretty well. It wasn't perfect because so many people hate Iger, but I think 
them testing out the waters was a good thing. And then of course we got the next three of Beyblade Burst. Obviously we have Beyblade Burst Rise or Gachi, which is my favorite simply because Dante is the best. Love Dante. And then of course we have, what's this one called? I genuinely forgot the name. Sparking! Beyblade Burst Sparking. Sparking shoot! Yeah, that's the only way I remember. I finished that one. I watched it while the episodes were still coming out in Japanese. I still haven't watched it in the English dub. And I have not touched uh, Dynamite simply because I don't... How do I explain this? I want it to finish... And then I'll just binge everything once it's done. I really just don't want to have to check in every week. So I made a nice little chart of how many episodes each season has. Whew. When you look at it like this, it's actually a lot. A lot. I didn't put anything for Dynamite simply because it's not done yet, I don't think. I gotta double check if it's done. I have, yeah, Dante, I have around 108 episodes left for me to watch. That includes uh, Beyblade Metal Masters, Beyblade Metal Fury, and then Shogun Steel. So those three seasons I have left, that's, that's a lot of hours of each. I'm not even going to calculate how many hours there are. But anyway, how many seasons have you finished?